Over the last two years, the auto industry here in Michigan has closed many of its plants. This has affected other related businesses and numerous jobs have been lost. Our unemployment rate is over 12% and as the people lose their jobs, their home has gone into foreclosure. These issues have not only affected the people here in Michigan, but also our pets. Miss Molinar's second and third grade class decided to inform and educate our community about the pet crisis throughout Michigan. We begin our journey at Gleaner's Food Distribution Center in Howell, which provides food for those in need in Livingston County, but we learn that they also collect and distribute pet food and supplies so pets can remain with their owners instead of having to go to a shelter. Sydney interviewed Mr. Bell from Gleaners. The best way we can help pets is, uh, is try and get donations for pet food and uh, also we pick up food from Target or Costco's and we ask them to help with pet food. How fast do you run out of pet food? Well, unfortunately, we run out of pet food very fast because there's certain food that people can get help with from areas in the county, but they don't get much help with pet food, and so we really try and find donations uh, for more pet food. Our next stop was Livingston County Humane Society. While we were there, we learned that in response to the poor economy, the shelter has 50% more pets than a few years ago. Adoptions are down 20%. How has the economy affected you, the Humane Society? Well, in a couple of ways. As everyone knows, I'm sure, the economy is um, a struggle in Michigan, and there's two ways that we've noticed it here at the Society. One. Fewer people are adopting pets because since many people are losing jobs or have a fear that they might lose a job, not the best time to take on a new pet or a new member of the family. So that's one way. Secondly, um, our donations have gone down a little bit, our money that is donated to us, and that's how our society survives. We do not get any funding from tax dollars or any municipal funding at all. We raise all of our own money, so our donations have been hit a little bit by the economy. Last thing we have seen because of the economy is the number of pets have increased, the number of pets that don't have a home, because once again, unfortunately, some people are losing jobs, which means some people lose their homes, and they are forced to either move in with others, like parents, for instance, or a roommate, or they're forced to move into an apartment and they cannot take a pet with them. We've had more calls to turn in pets. How do you think we can help the Humane Society? Well, if you're looking to adopt a pet, it'd be great if you could come here to look at the pets that we have. We have so many nice dogs and cats, so if you're thinking of adopting or you know maybe friends and family that want to add a dog or a cat to their home, you tell them that you've been here and send them over here. Um, you can also see all the pets that we have for adoption on our website. We have a web address. It's www.humane-livingston.org. You can see all the pets, their pictures, their descriptions and everything. So you can tell your friends and family to go there. Um, we also need money and supplies donated. We take supplies of cat food, dog food. We take old sheets, we take bedding, blankets, things like that. Old dog toys or cat toys that maybe you don't use at home anymore. All of those things can be donated to us and we appreciate that. After our field trip to the Gleaners and the Humane Society, we returned to school and brainstormed about ways people in our community could help pets. Our kindergarten classes organized a school-wide pet food drive to donate food to both Gleaners and Livingston County Humane Society. The kindergarten students made posters to let the people know about the pet food drive. And Katie Stima, who won Principal of the Day in a raffle organized hat day, where students and staff would bring in a pet food donation or money to donate to the cause and wear their hat in school all day. Our brainstorm 
activity highlighted many ways the community can help. Miss Judy, one of the custodians, told us that when her home burned down, the Red Cross not only helped her family, but also gave them pet food and supplies for their pets. Miss Patty Mackey, a volunteer at the Washtenaw County Humane Society and a friend of Mrs. Milner's mother, heard about our documentary journey and came into our class to talk about her volunteer experience as a foster home for overflow cats and educating new pet owners about their responsibilities. The, day the shelter was full, they had no more empty cages and people were still bringing cats in, so I brought him to my house to make room for another cat out at the shelter. Tom McPhee, the director and producer of the award-winning documentary and American opera, The Greatest Pet Rescue Ever, which highlights the pet rescue efforts after Hurricane Katrina, visited our classroom to share his experience and expertise in creating a documentary. He was our inspiration for helping animals and doing it in a documentary format. Our social studies curriculum includes identifying and analyzing a public issue, creating a persuasive communication about that issue and acting constructively to further the public good. This documentary, our documentary, Homeless Pets and Economic Epidemic, fulfills the, those goals and many more. Here are some of our thoughts as we reflect back on our documentary journey. We discovered that making a documentary has challenges. Creating a title is hard because we had to figure out what would match the documentary. And editing is difficult because we only have about eight minutes after three weeks. We were sad to see all of the dogs and cats in the cages because they had no homes. And when we looked on the computer, it was sad to see all the same dogs and cats still at the Humane Society. We learned a lot about the economy and ways to help pets. Some people cannot get pet food because they are losing their jobs. Now we know if you are low on money, you can go to Gleaners or the Humane Society for help. Our favorite part of the process was when Mr. McPhee came to visit us because we learned how to make a documentary and he helped us with ours. In the end, we all got a personalized sign poster and he inspired us to make a documentary and help the animals. Finally, cre creating the documentary has inspired all us all to help pets. Many of us want to volunteer, donate food or money, and make sure we get people's attention about it. Nicolette sums it up best. It makes me want to go all the way around the world to rescue pets. Wow.